everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then hi, my name is Lauren. And on my channel, we mostly talk about anything luxury, but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you a review of this Chanel 19 handbag and I'm going to be considering whether or not the Chanel 19 bag is still worth buying in 2023. So if you are curious to find out, then please keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, let's cover the basics. This bag is the Chanel 19 in size medium in this beautiful beige color and it's from the 22T collection. This handbag currently retails for $6,300 plus tax, which is quite a bit of money, but definitely not anywhere near the Chanel medium classic flap, which would be kind of the comparison of this one because this is a size medium. The Chanel medium classic flap currently retails for $8,800 plus tax, so there's still quite a bit of a difference. However, this one isn't the classic model. It isn't as famous and that's obviously where the price difference comes in. That's definitely, you know, how they justify it. So my question throughout this video is going to take a look at the functionality, the versatility of this bag, whether or not I believe that for me, this was or not a good purchase and then kind of look around at the prices and kind of decide whether or not it's still a good investment bag in 2023. So first let's talk about the versatility of this handbag. So I got mine in size medium and I would highly recommend this size. I do believe that it is the perfect size when it comes to Chanel 19 bag because it isn't like the super big, you know, the maxi one. That one I feel like for a bag that has, you know, a crossbody option or at least like a shoulder option depending on your height, I feel like it is way too bulky and kind of way too big. And then the small one for me personally just wasn't working because I am 180 centimeters or 5'11". So it's obviously super tall so I kind of have to be wary of how small bags look on me. Not necessarily mini bags but even just like small ones. Sometimes they could look too small and then you know make myself look too too big. So I feel like for me the Chanel 19 in size medium is really the perfect size. It is very functional as well in the sense that a lot of things fit in this purse. As you can see here from the side, it is pretty wide, but not too, too wide, but you can still fit a lot of things inside. This for me fits a lot more than the Chanel Medium Classic Flap, simply because with the Medium Classic Flap, because of the flap system, you kind of lose a lot of space to this. However, here, it really simply opens this way, and so you're like right away in the back, if that makes sense. So you do not have this problem of losing space. However, what I will say is since it is less of a structured bag, the thing that ended up happening with me was that I had to get a bag organizer because I wanted my bag to kind of stay in shape. And then also because of the color that I chose, which is kind of a light color, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have you know, pen stains or kind of any stains inside of the purse. So I also wanted to get a bag organizer to kind of prevent any stains or damage from happening. This handbag is a calfskin leather bag and it was a little hard at first for me to get a calfskin leather bag because I'm so used to having caviar handbags. So I kind of had to make an effort there in the terms of, you know, taking the bag out and being okay with the fact that, well, if, you know, I use my nails on it, I can't just like scratch it like this and be carefree about it. So that was definitely an adjustment um, and that's definitely something to keep in mind if you know you want to be carefree then I would not think that this would be worth it for you as a handbag because you can't be carefree with this. Um, it's very fragile and it, the bag also tends to be a little bit slouchy so what I personally do to store it and to make sure that it you know looks nice and that it stays the same is I store it with its bag organizer inside and then inside of the bag organizer I put a few like plastic wraps and then I obviously put the dust bag and the wrapping and then the way that I store it is that I hang it this way um, in a closet and so I avoid in my mind first the contact the constant contact um, here with the top handle um, which would be you know the case if it was stored in Xbox or something and I also feel like that way the bag doesn't lose its shape too, too much. 
Um, by the way, let me know if you have other kind of, you know, recommendations. I've also heard of people kind of wrapping um, kitchen towels around it to prevent further damage if they want to store it in its box. But I feel like that's something to be wary about. Um, it's not a carefree bag. That being said, I think that it's a great handbag because it's very versatile. It is the type of handbag that for me it looks great during the day because it's big or bigger than a small bag. I feel like this would be great for you know a city trip, like a weekend trip, a day out in the city, a day out at the mall. But I also feel like this would be a good bag for kind of you know occasions um, and even like nights out. For example, like um, going out to eat at a restaurant or something like this. So this would be the type of handbag that I would be comfortable to bring on a night out. Now what I will say is because mine is in such a light color, you have to be wary of color transfer um, and you have to kind of think about it in terms of the outfits that you're going to be wearing. Um, are you going to be wearing dark denim? Are you going to be wearing dark fabrics? Are you going to be wearing black? Or do you have a black coat? This type of stuff. This definitely influences um, how many times I wear this bag. I have to admit that since I have gotten it, which is just a little over a year ago, I haven't worn it very, very much because when I look at my bag collection, I always find something else, <laughs> um, something that in my mind is better suited than this bag. And it always ends up being a bag that is caviar leather or a bag that is a little bit more careless. Um, or more carefree than this bag. Um, this bag, I'm still like so concerned about getting it scratched that it kind of, you know, scares me so much that I'm like, okay, no, I'm never taking it out. So that's really, really something where I would say if you're not going to take it out um, and if you're gonna do like me and kind of, you know, baby it, this might not be the good, you know, handbag recommendation. This might not be a good investment. So now in terms of trending or trends, is this bag still trendy in 2023? For me, in my humble opinion, the answer would be yes. So I live in the Northeast United States, in the DC area to be a little bit more precise, and I still see a lot of people wearing this bag outside. And I think that for me, like when I think about it, the success of this bag owes it to the fact that it's so different from the Chant medium flap. Um, the fact that it's so different from the Chanel Classic flap, it really has a different vibe to the bag. It's a lot more youthful, and I think that comes from the different mixing of hardwares. So if you look at my purse, for example, on um, the top handle over here, it's gold hardware. Uh, part of the strap here has gold hardware, but then this part of the strap here has silver hardware. And I think that tends to be a little bit more you know, casual, less like strict. So I think that a lot of people see themselves more in this handbag than a flat bag, which is kind of not strict or severe, but a little bit, you know, definitely more classic. So I feel like when I take a look at most people, most people are not going to be in this category of super like strict, proper, like very, you know, so-and-so. Most people are kind of more relaxed, especially when you see them outside and, you know, like a normal environment, like a mall or um, just walking around the city. And I think that the success of this bag owes that a lot to this fact that it's a lot more casual, a lot more useful. Um, I think also the price has a lot to do with it. So like I mentioned before, this bag retails for 6,300 plus tax. So if you are looking to save some money from a flap, if you feel like, you know, the flap is too expensive, AKA everyone, I too feel like the flap is too expensive, then I think that this might be a really good idea still to get this bag in 2023 because I don't see this bag being out of trend anytime soon. I mean, I still see so many people wearing it in the first place in the street. And I know like I live in DC, I don't live, you know, in New York or something like super duper fancy, but I see this bag here in like a smaller city. I'm sure that in New York, you still see it too. Of course, in bigger cities, you will see, you know, newer purses. So Chanel fairly recently released like um, a backpack and I think that it's been pretty much on trend. So the people who follow the latest trends will carry the backpack or will carry another bag from another brand and not necessarily this one, but I still think that this one has a lot of life to it. 
I feel like I see a lot of people carrying this bag who are people that I admire um, on either social media, YouTube, or in the street. People who I would kind of look up to in a sense, like in a fashion sense. Now, what I will say is that this bag might not be worth it for you in 2023 if your goal is to resell it later. So this bag doesn't have an amazing resale value like um, the classic flaps have. I think that if you can get your hands on a very sought after or very rare or a very special color of classic flap, then you will have the chance to resell it for a huge premium and you will make like a big, big margin on this sale. So that's always something nice. So in terms of like pure financial investments, I would not recommend this one. I would then, you know, gear myself towards probably a classic flap, um, probably either size small or medium, which seem to be, you know, the more popular ones. Um, because here the resale value I think will be around what you have paid for. Maybe you'll be able to make like a small profit, but it's not going to be anything amazing. So I think that in terms of this bag in 2023, this would still be a handbag that I would recommend. I think that it's still very much on trend. It's still very much out here. It's still portrayed a lot on social media and also in the street. But I would ask myself whether or not this bag particularly suits my needs. And I feel like for me, this might be something that I didn't think about that much. Um, I should have definitely thought about it some more. Now, I don't necessarily regret this purchase because I think that if I hadn't purchased it, I would have always wondered, well, maybe, you know, I should get it or it's too bad that I didn't get it. I feel like it's such an iconic model that I've kind of always wanted one and would have wanted one anyway. So I would have ended up buying one, that's for sure. But you kind of have to look at you know your lifestyle and what your needs are and what your wants are. But in terms of trends and in terms of investments, as far as a bag collection goes, not as a resale option, but just like to fit your bag collection, this would be a great recommendation still in 2023. So the goal of this video was kind of to show you that this bag is still worth getting in 2023. And of course, you know, the flap is like the number one bag model from the brand and that will more or less always be worth it, kind of regardless of the price, regardless of how ridiculous this price gets. But here, I feel like a lot of influential people still get this bag today. And the way that I look at it is not necessarily like, oh, like so-and-so, you know, made this review about this particular bag, then it must be great. It's just like when I scroll on social media and I find people who have an appealing lifestyle, who have an appealing sense of style, appealing sense of fashion, and you know, I tell myself, oh, I'd like to wear this, I'd like to have this, I'd like to have that. I often see this kind of bag in their bag collection. So that's also how I know it's still worth it in 2023. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that the video was informational and beneficial in case you were kind of debating whether or not this was still worth it. In 2023, the answer is definitely yes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.